on Young Hasio. Very shortly, we are gonna check out Day 6's I Wait music video, but before we do, smash that like button. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Let's get those likes up front, cause we're gonna have some fun. Day 6, I Wait music video. Loving the cityscape shots. The very gritty kind of... Is this New York? Is this LA? I can't tell. I love how they sound vocally, but I'm feeling the, the, the beat about to drop. Okay now. I like the beat to the song a lot. Yo, I'm loving this. It's like it sounds like the current style of R&B that like some of like the weekend would do, and it sounds a little bit like jungle from like the early 2000s, and then like pure alternative rock all at the same time, like in order. Now we're getting a little electronic, you know what I'm saying? With the little spermies in the back. I'm loving the spermies. Now we got a little jungle jazz kind of vibe going. Now we're at alternative. By the way, they're making great use of that studio because like all those sky shots and cityscape shots are also in that studio because there's a green screen. So I'm very impressed with their production crew in terms of their execution on this. Oh yeah, and I'm noticing the red and blue uh, mood, mood lighting from 2016. Check out the look of 2016. Dude, is it me or does rain look good in every music video ever? Rain and water. It always looks good no matter what. I'm loving those zooms. Yeah, that's all digital. That's not in camera. That looks awesome. <laughs> that was... Oh, I'm sorry. That video had a lot of fucking energy. Don't you think? And personally, I think there's a look and a style that is apparent the entire time that I think even American rock groups could certainly take some tips from. Because, it, you know, it's it's mixing styles of music that you would normally e never hear together. You usually don't hear, you know, jazzy, loungy, uh, jungle, and alternative rock in the same setting, but like both are in the same song. Or at least I don't normally hear them blended quite so seamlessly, you know? So musically, I gotta say just off the music, it's top notch. Like if, if I were judging music, I would be giving this a 10, but this is a music video uh, review. Um, 
I like how towards the end of the video they mix in the red and blue mood lighting, which I say is the look of 2016, which is last year. Um, you can check out my montage of that um, on the homepage. You'll see other popular examples of people using that lighting technique, and it just makes everything sexy. Don't you think? The red and blue, it's like a colorful uh, black and white contrast when you do it for people. And somehow it brings out the coolness and sex appeal in anybody who has the light on them. Moving forward, I, def I definitely enjoy the, the, uh, the blending of the visual effects in the rawness of just lights and just energy from them playing music on, this, on the set. So, you know, I personally am very satisfied with this video. I will give this video, I will give it a 9.5. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you had fun watching it as well. Please, tell me how you feel about all this in the comment section below. Do you like this video? Do you hate this video? Do you like me? Do you hate me? Uh, is there something I didn't notice about this video? I would be very curious to find out if there's any new feature or concept or part of this video I did not notice. Tell me in the comment section below. Also, please like, like, like this clip and... um. Share this clip as well and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Bubble Contagion, the realest reaction channel on YouTube.